we found out if we're having a boy or a girl. I wanted to tell you guys, we are having a boy. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing this blue sweater, although it is pretty hot, so I'm going to take it off right now. I just wanted to wear something blue because I thought that was kind of cute. Found out we're having a boy. I kind of had a feeling it was a boy. I never had a feeling really throughout the whole pregnancy up until now. I'm 19 weeks today, so I haven't really had a feeling either way, but sometimes, like every, like twice, I was thinking, oh, I think it's a boy, but I'm not sure. I was never really confident in it, the answer, which usually I feel like I was convinced I would know if it was a boy or a girl. I was convinced I was, I was going to be able to say whether it's a boy or a girl, but I really could not feel either way. So that was um, kind of surprising for me. <laughs> And I thought it would be fun to go through all the wives tales of whether it's a boy or a girl just for fun because Gunnar and I definitely were looking at them and just having fun guessing the whole time. I will say we could have found out a little earlier but we didn't just because I thought it was fun to kind of guess for a little while um, but then after you know some time passed i really did want to know if it was a boy or a girl so then we decided to find out and we didn't do like a gender reveal or anything gunner and i just found out together he opened the email and told me uh he was very excited <laughs> so that was really fun to see him be excited uh he just really wanted to have a son it's just like a boy thing i think they just want to have a, a son to be able to pass on their name but either way i'm very excited I have a lot of nephews, a little brother. Um, I I call my little brother like my practice baby because I was 12 when he was born. So I, <laughs> I kind of like know how to take care of a baby already. And he's like my practice baby. Anyway, so I, I, I know how baby boys work. So that's good for me because I <laughs> I've been around a lot of baby boys. All my cousins have baby boys. So it's actually really exciting to have a boy to join all of the, the boy gang that is already in the family. So let's get into the wives' tales. I think this will be fun. So are you carrying high or low? Well, I'm pretty, uh, I'm, my tummy's still pretty little, but I think I'm carrying low for as, you know, big as my belly is. So can you tell? Oh, it looks kind of big right now. <laughs> so I'm definitely carrying low. And low is for uh, for boy, and high is for girl. The shape of your bump, um, if it looks like a basketball, it's a boy. And if you're carrying your weight all over, it's girl. I heard this one all so much. If you if you gain weight all over, you're having a girl. Or if you get wider, you're having a girl. And if you grow out forward, you're having a boy. And I do feel like my belly is growing out forward. I still can. I, have, I still have like waist definition so I guess that was true and I by the way guys I don't really think wife sales these can tell you but it's just so much fun to guess and like look these up we'll get to one I'll share a story so the next one is moody versus mellow if you're moodier you're having a girl and if you're more relaxed you're having a boy I feel like I've been a little bit more relaxed and I also asked Gunner, my husband, do you think I've been more relaxed or been more moody? And I told him he can be honest. He can tell me. Uh, it's for the purpose of this video. And he said, no, I really think that you've been a lot more chill um, ever since you've been, been pregnant. Which I think is funny because sometimes I feel like I'm just like on one. But he's just, I'll even apologize. I'll be like, I'm sorry. I was being like so cranky. And he's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. So I love him for that. I thank god for that all the time that he doesn't get riled up by like my moodiness whenever i am moody and he genuinely doesn't really care but i if your husband is like that i this is just some unsolicited advice i try to follow too i try not to take advantage of it because it definitely is such a blessing that <laughs> he doesn't get bothered by my moods okay so are you craving sweet or salty if you're craving sweet it's a girl if you're craving salty it's a boy also, things like protein-rich foods means it might be a boy. So, I have been craving salty foods. 
not sweet foods actually sugar in general is just like i can't have that much i usually would want like some ice cream after dinner and i've been having some popsicles that are kind of tart and lemony after dinner that's my dessert so i don't really count that as being sweet either because it's kind of tart and sour um a sweet is like eh. occasionally i'll want something sweet but even then it's just like a couple bites so definitely more salty morning sickness morning sickness if you're having a girl if you're having a lot of morning sickness if you didn't really throw up much at all or at all during your pregnancy you might be having a boy this is true for me i did not have morning sickness at all i was nauseous every once in a while or like queasy i would say and my food didn't really sound good but i was never i never threw up pregnancy glow if you're breaking out that means you're having a girl and if your skin is clear you're having a boy so i did break out initially when i became pregnant i also think that might have been because i obviously stopped using my retinol <laughs> my tretinoin so it could have been like a combo of that but after those breakouts cleared up my skin has been totally clear i would say that was also an accurate one <laughs> your linea negra which is that li dark line that girls get on their belly um if it goes above your belly button and not just below you're having a boy but if it stops at your belly button and doesn't continue you're having a girl well mine right now stops at my belly button and it doesn't go over it but i'm also 19 weeks so it might change it might go up later on so as of right now i would say that one's not true because mine is stopping at my belly button the feel of your skin so if your skin is drying out dry hands you can have you expect to have a boy and if your skin is silky smooth then you're having a girl well i would say my body skin has been so much softer because i have been really good about applying oil and cream every single night but i have been noticing the last couple days that my face has been kind of dry and i have oily skin on my face my face is always super oily so i have noticed that it's more dry and i think i'm gonna have to exfoliate a couple more times a week so i guess that one is true cold feet if you're having cold feet expect to have a boy and if your feet as warm as ever then you might be having a girl i am i don't know if i can answer this one i don't think my feet have been extra warm or extra cold i think they've just been kind of normal <laughs> the color of your urine if you're having brighter yellow than usual it's a girl and if it's a dull yellow then it's a boy hmm i don't know i feel like this one just changes with my level of hydration so i also don't think i can really answer this one if your hair becomes thick full and glossy then you're having a boy and if it becomes dull limp dull and limp it's a girl i do i will say i've been noticing when i wash my hair I'm just like why is my hair so thick it's never felt so like thick in my hand after the shower so i still say this one's accurate i'm having a boy and my hair was definitely a lot thicker the garlic test if you're able to eat a lot of garlic and not smell like it, it means you're carrying a girl if you eat a garlic and the odor seeps out of your pores then you're having a boy i'm not going to test that one either clumsiness if you're clumsier than ever it's a boy and if you remain grounded and still in control of your body it's a girl i do think i've been a little more clumsy than usual so that one will be accurate too that it's a boy <laughs> this one's funny one boob bigger than the other um let's see so if you notice your right breast is getting bigger than your left you might be having a son if your left breast is larger you might be having a daughter this is weird uh i don't think i've noticed a difference baby's heart rate if their heart rate is 140 beats per minute it's a girl if it's lower than 140 it's a boy okay so gunner and i had so much fun with this one so at our seven week ultrasound we couldn't hear the heart rate but they could track it and it was 150 <laughs> and gunner repeated to the tech was like 150 or 115 the guy was like 150 and gunner was like oh no we're having a girl <laughs> because it was over but now um i think his my last ultrasound the heart rate was 143 so still over and we're having a boy so i guess that one wasn't accurate for me there's a blood pressure one on here it's kind of confusing so i'm gonna skip that one 
partner's weight gain. If your partner is gaining weight alongside you, known as sympathy weight, <laughs> it could be a sign that you're carrying a girl. And if he stays at the same, it's a boy. He hasn't really gained weight. If anything, he looks a little leaner. And Gunner definitely has sympathy symptoms with me. I, I knew he would. And I was getting annoyed at first because I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Or I have a headache. And he'd be like, oh my gosh, me too. And I'm just like, no, these are my symptoms. I'm making a baby. How can you be feeling this too? And then he reminded me <laughs> a little while out, a, a few weeks ago that there's things a sympt uh, like uh, sympathy symptoms. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that. I You definitely get that with me. The next one is the... Chinese gender calendar. Uh, I almost didn't do this one too for just my own religious beliefs, but I just did it for fun. And the Chinese calculator said I was gonna have a girl, so it was wrong because I'm having a boy. Those were all of the ones on here. This was 20, and I think I did 18 of them. So that was fun. Gunner and I had so much fun looking at the Wife's Tales, and I will go back to the sweet and salty one where they said that the salty could also be like more protein, could also count as salty. Is that Gunner? Gunner's driving by right now, he's working. So, <laughs> I'll text him right now. So, yeah, with the salty, they said also if you're craving more protein. And this might be a little controversial, guys. I I feel totally fine with my decision, so please don't come for me in the comments. Although, no one's ever really mean to me in the comments. Um, so, I never really have to worry about that. But anyway, I don't... I've never liked raw sushi. My cousin and I would go to sushi dates all the time. And she would always get raw fish. And I would just watch her because I'm like, girl, I don't know how you eat that. It looks so gross. <laughs> I've never liked it. And I always get like a California roll or like a shrimp roll or a crab roll or something. Uh, but I, I never have liked raw fish. I've never tried raw fish. Nothing. And then all of a sudden, I think I was around 11, 11 or 12 weeks or something, maybe a little like eight weeks. I turn to Gunner and I say, oh my gosh, I think I want to eat like raw sushi. I was just craving like a big piece of tuna or something. And I don't know why because I have never had raw fish in my life. <laughs> and it was just the most random craving that I just wanted to eat this raw sushi. Anyway, so I ate it. I know there's controversy behind that. Okay, listen. I think more women eat raw sushi than we know because it's so taboo to talk about. But when I talk to people and that I know in my personal life, uh, I would say it's like 50-50. Say that they eat, they still eat raw fish if, if they've liked sushi. I think it's personally fine if you're eating it from a reputable, reputable place. I'm not gonna eat it from a grocery store or definitely not like a gas station. <laughs> I'm going to go to a sushi restaurant and eat it right there. And I'm also like not going to eat it a lot. I'm not going to eat it five times a week. I might have it once or twice a week. There was one week when I went on a sushi spiral and I definitely ate it, I think, three times in a week. But I don't know. It's probably twice. So, yeah, I'm not going to eat it all the time. But I'm also, I think it's fine as long as it's from a good place and I'm not overdoing it. That's just my belief. I'm not saying do or don't eat sushi if you want to or not. I don't know. That's up to you. But anyway, that was the weirdest craving for me because I was just wanting to eat raw fish and I've been eating it ever since. It's so bizarre to me because I... If you told me I would have eaten raw sushi, especially during my pregnancy, I'd be like, you are crazy. Nuh uh There's no way. <laughs> There's just no way. But I'm wondering if I'm going to not like it again when I'm not pregnant. I'm not sure. But just even talking about it right now makes me want to go get some sushi. <laughs> so that was definitely a different craving that I've had. I haven't had many cravings. The other random one, since we're here talking about them, is Diet Coke. Uh, I'm 27. And I probably haven't drank soda since I was 
17 or so I stopped drinking soda in high school and I never drank it again I don't want to say never like if my little brother got a soda I would ask him for a sip or two and then I just always instantly regret it <laughs> like why did I take that sip uh, I don't drink soda so Gunner definitely looked at me really confused when I was also like you know what also sounds good right now a diet coke <laughs> I was shocked I was shocked that I was craving a diet coke too so weird that that just came up out of nowhere because I don't ever crave soda we were having a boy I wanted to tell you guys I wanted to think of like a fun way to tell you guys since I didn't have like a gender reveal to show you guys <laughs> or anything I just wanted to do that with me and Gunner together yes yeah, so I thought that I would join it with the wives tell video so anyway let me know if you guys followed along the old wife t old wife's tales with your pregnancy and if they were accurate or not i would love to know i just let me know if you guys had as much fun as i did looking at them and trying to guess i think guessing was one of my most favorite parts <laughs> so far um other than going to my anatomy scan and knowing that everything is healthy with my baby now i feel like i can relax and breathe <laughs> and now my attention has more so focused to preparing for labor so it's just all so wonderful god is so good and i'm very grateful so anyway guys i'll see you in my next video bye